All right, we got a 2023 Taos 1.5 liter. We're gonna be replacing the head gasket. It's leaking along the back edge of the block and the cylinder head. So let's get going here. Start by getting the air box out, one of this top plastic stuff. Let's get right going in there. Careful of this secondary air uh, supply hose back here. Here, plastic crap. Just popping these hoses off. Got your camera? No, I just want to try it on. Uh, try it on this. Connection. Secondary air injection valve, um, secondary air pressure hose sensor. Ten millimeters for the coil. Ten millimeters for the ground. Clip right here. So we got another little clip right here. You don't want to destroy these clips, you want to keep them in good shape. Breather, crankcase breather. I 
had actually forgot. Line Body. I believe this has, yep, has a safety clip on it. Leave the safety clip? No, it has a safety clip. Oh, it clip. has a safety so clip. Release the first stage of the lock with the red clip. Release that, and then you can hit the black. On the bottom of this elbow pipe, you see this T30 right here for the throttle body? Yep. There's two on the bottom. That's They hold this plastic pipe to the throttle body, just two though. How long did it take it? The time I actually spent. Get your two T30s out. Be careful, obviously, you start seeing O rings and stuff like this popping loose. Definitely want to pay attention to them. Two screws go in. This car is ridiculous. Unclip the cam sensor. Five seventeens. Fives, wheel well cover. Of 
First thing I put a 10 in there just to get the fault. 10 mil nut right there. Nice to see how things these cars have to stay for you. Tensioner. Remember the direction you take your belt off. Hang it up in a fashion. in there. The lock in. Right there. Right, right there. See the leak right here? Oh, I'll, I'll take it. Oh, yeah. I do see it. Right on, right. Sixteen for these little guys. Eighteen for that guy right there. Eighteen for here. Gun? No, this little tool is done. Not hit, not hitting where I want it to hit. So crooked, that's gone. Yep. Put this in temporarily. That is 30 Newtons. Or 18? 16. 16. The shield. Be very careful doing this. Pull the axle out here. Leaking, leaking, leaking. This uh, support for the cat. What size? Triple ten. Triple ten. That's a cool color. All right, twelve millimeter for the turbo and exhaust manifold bit. Copper 
for nuts. Secondary air pump bracket. What are you removing right there? Secondary air pump bracket. Okay. Might have to take that pump right out of there. Let me see. I'm gonna probably take this pump out. What pump is it? Secondary air oh, pump. Okay. Gotta lift it. Look at you. Pop out the spark plug. What size? Five eight. Five eight. Got this secondary air valve here. That's coming out of here. Oh, 
get that. <laughs> this works well. I got a piece of tape on it. Uh, hold on here. About 164 millimeters up the screwdriver. So what is that doing? So find top dead center pretty easily. Stick that in there. Mm. 12 point. Slide it around a couple times here. We're gonna get her close. And raise it up. Little access plug right here. 18 mil, I believe. It's a drain plug. Is it an 18 or a 19? It's an 18. T10 340. Thread that in. There we are, we're locked. Got it? Crack lock. Pop the crank gear off. Notice no keying on this gear. Any particular reason? I don't know why they did that. I couldn't tell you. Probably when I'm on vacation. You know the uh, uh, game called the TDI Diva? I said, yeah. well, how do you know that's what it is? Yeah, they call it the Castle okay. What size? T30s. Got one more, I gotta get an extension for. Another T30. Got one more here. All right, this is the way I like to do this job. I'm sure some genius is gonna disagree with me. Let's put a nice paint mark right down here. Videos. Um, they want to know how much hair gel you, uh, you spend on the year. Oh, yeah, really? About as many cigarette butts as you picked up at fucking French. <laughs> You're just marking the bell and the, uh, the gear. Yep. I guess I'll probably have a lot of disagreeers about this, but I don't care. Uh, I'm gonna get this uh, water pump off of here. Tape is made special for it.
Move the battery out of the way. Make it. for the battery lock. 10 mil for the battery. This thing's got double lock on it. So we're getting more and more like Nissans or some crappy filler. The terminals are getting cheaper. Everything is getting cheaper. I mean, this is a safety terminal. That thing will sever in an accident. So disconnect the battery completely in an accident. Oh, okay. battery tray. Remember this little bushing that always sticks? vacuum on that thing hold it on there so what was the trick just push up on this tab while pushing forward and then pull back another harness clip here T30 right there. Got another one in the back. Yeah. 
in the back of what? This uh, inlet, this turbo inlet. Tens. It's going to be loose and kind of out of our way, which is nice. Get 230 or right down here, we're gonna get. A little water pump out, keep the direction the same. Yeah, three, three there, got a little bracket there, tensioner. Loosen the timing belt tensioner. Yeah. What size? 13. This cam is probably gonna move as well as this one. I'm doing this job with no crazy special tools so everyone can figure out how to do it on their own. All right, get the belt loosed up, down there. T30. No, triple eight. Triple eight. Car. 
been around for a while. It's the one. It's an adaptation of the 1.4. Work from the outside in. Cam assembly off. Pull the belt off, remember the direction of it. So I need a hook down here. Gently with the oh, man. New phone's not slipped on. Projector lines off. So we got a little connection right here. Other can sensor, oil pressure sensor rather. Clip. T30. And pretty freed up here, pretty freed up here, pretty freed up here. About 116, we're going to be popping out and then we're going to work the back real quick. 16 in there. What are we missing? Just got a couple little brackets. Get out of the way. Get this guy out of the way. A little sensor right here. Another 230 right here. Another 230 right there. Alright, so these are all disconnected from the head. By that. I'm going to take this oil return out. And I think that's going to give us the flex we need. Just enough so we don't have to take any more stuff off the turbo, I don't think. Oh 
Uh, this head coming off of here, yeah, perfect. Love that. Here's our piece of front gasket. Pretty pathetic. like ice cream and cookies in there. Yeah, I heard that. Oh, all right, let's stick some rags in here and soak up all this uh, coolant. Mine says the connection I mean, that's coming, that's coming from a guy. Let's just say that's coming from a guy. Missed the bump. What are you using? It's a carbon scraper. Any expensive? 80, 90 bucks from the tool idiots. right back here. Someone has signed it and dated it, which will tell you there's big problems with these. Yeah, Fresh gasket.
slog down. Uh, 40 newt meters. Start at 40. Pretty classic. Uh, tightening sequence here. Start from the middle, work your way out. And diagonally, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now we're in the three nineties. Ninety number two. Third and final 90. Third 90. Alrighty, 390s are done. Three minutes. Okay, I got a fresh gasket there. Fresh gasket. Okay, we got our camp chef housing. Now let's get it close-ish to where we want to be. This is important because we're doing this with no special tool other than the crank lock, which I think is minimum mandatory. So you're going to want about the exact position. 
that it's going to live in on the car. So we're pretty damn close right there. Be careful because if you force this in and it's too far out of time, it's going to push the valves into the pistons that are up. So you definitely don't want that. Take your time and remember where everything is. Well, no, take you put the marks close to where they need to be. Start yeah. there. That's the, that's what I'm telling you. It's not take your time and remember where everything is. Next order of business, we're gonna put them all in hand tight. Ten new meters here. Ten newtons. Ten newtons plus a one twenty. I'm gonna double check them all in for ten. with a 120.
10 newtons and then a 120. 10 newtons and a 1 Slide belt down there. We're still on the bottom. We got our mark lined up right here, right? Yep. Good there. Our mark lined up here, and our mark lined up down here. Slack to the back. This mark is not going to line up because our cams are turned back a little bit. Like our entire <clears throat> slack is on the wrong side right now. Yep. So when we tension this thing and crank it around, then these will line back up correctly. Tensioner, you're gonna need this tool, T10-499. It's a pretty dumb tool, and a lot of dumb people have used it, because you can see that it's bent. All right. Position on the tensioner. Bring forward to the wind up slot. Bolt, you're all tensioned up. You can go there. We roll it forward right back to the lock, and sure as shit, we're lined up here, we're lined up here, we're lined up here. We're good to go. It's on. Going back in. Right down in there. Back 
side. Okay, slow me down. Yeah. Make sure you hear the click. Make sure you hear the click when you plug the injectors back in. What is that called? It's an oil pressure sensor right here. A lot of subjectors going on. Click. Five. Cam sensor plugs back in. Get this shit out of the way for a second. Um, clean stirs out there. I'm gonna clean her up nice for you. Clean hipsters. Yeah. So make sure your grandma gets her towels back nice and clean, so you don't uh, tell her she got ripped off at the Steeler ship. Later, thank you. You did too much. You did too much. Too yeah. much. Got a fresh gasket for the water pump. Upper cover here. Get our harness coming up where it needs to be.
said you said there's a T30 clip down below. Look, a little T30 right here. This bracket. Don't forget about that bracket. Get that on there. Okay. Okay. in here. There's a 13 over here. We're going to put it loosely for now only. Okay. Going up. Installing the cover. The car. You part of me with five bones. Try to make a little money. Oil return line. What else are you putting on? Another little bracket T30 here. Old bracket T30. Yeah. Plug in the pressure sensor. If I get a peek, this is what we're looking like up here. All right, got four new nuts for the turbo. Guys on stand up to the abuse. That's the difference. All right, triple tens. Get those at least in place started. And what are those for? To hold up the cat. There. Oh, this doesn't feel like it wants to be in there. Okay. Okay, we're going to work with that there. What, the Torre? Yeah. Yeah. Thirty for the oil return. Okay, got a nice spot there. Yeah. 
Yeah, it seems like anything chain is more money. Well, that chain's also on the back of the engine, so... Yeah, you want to deal with that? All your problems will be on the... Not everything's got to come out. That guy right there. Okay. Tighten up. Here. I was telling my dad, I was like, ideally you could have both of those cars if you bought them at once, like the rest of your life. A good majority. Yeah, I mean, that's uh, how they're built. Obviously. A lot of outside factors you gotta fight off, you know that. As far as other people crashing into oh, you, yeah. animals, you know. Installed that tri triple send for this bracket. They're very, they have that bracket on there better than the engine is probably like, uh, secured to the car. They're very worried about that bracket. All right, let's go back. <laughs> Yo, Slim, can you see a blue fucking dick? Just put that clip on right there.
30. I'm not gonna plug that in yet. I'm gonna plug this in yet either. Please. What is this? Secondary air pump going back in. up your fucking so it has to be the high or the low fine pick the lower bearing I don't care either or I don't give a fuck they're one part made up of two that's like saying uh, either or oh, it's a mess we need a little flex here seconds just it on. yeah just put it in there laid the cams on there nice and easy didn't go fucking crazy and uh lock the crank uh bolted the cams down and then just put the belt on done moving on T30 on. It's holding this uh, intake pipe in. Back T30. Another T30 right here to lock this pipe on. Nineteen. 
installing the coils. Remember to keep them in order. Yeah, I try to remember. What size were those? Tens. Tens. Tens for the yeah. coil packs. You got this, uh... Tell me, I saw I was like ten years ago. Seriously, yeah, ten years ago, yeah. yeah. Well, maybe it wasn't yesterday. When so and so got one. I was like, how many years? for the ground wire, 10 mil for the ground. What is that? It's the breather hose. Why is there so many of this car? Well, it needs a lot of breathing. Taking a lot of breaths. Honestly, I have no fucking clue. That's the wrong way. There's so many right here. Yeah. Two thirty for this pipe for here.
else we need to do here. I think we're good. We can put the manifold back on. Installing the manifold. Manifold's going back on. The slide rig is down a little socket like that. Throttle body? Yeah, I'm gonna put the throttle body on first before I tighten the manifold. That way I know it's in together the way it needs to be. Looks like right now it's not where it wants to be. Dirty for the throttle body. Did I drop one? I must have dropped one. What the fuck did that happen? So you didn't drop one? I thought I did, yeah. Fuel line here. We have our N80 line here. Plugging in the throttle body. Let's get anything else down. So we have the elbow in. Before we bolt anything else down. Let's 
size bolts. We have some C30s in the bottom that go through the throttle body and hold it into the intercooler. Turn the light down this crack, please. Plug in the map sensor. Yep. Got a little bracket right here with a T30 on it. Fuel line in, purge valve line in, and the clips. Purge valve plugged in. Check all your plugs, make sure they're pushed in, the ends of them. This is ridiculous right here. Plastic clips, come on, man. It's just so sure. Back in its drive. Good, good, good. Another breather hose. <laughs> Secondary air pressure hose. Oh. They look similar. They're similar. tight we're in tight we're getting close here we're gonna go down there and install the crankcase breather in a second make sure you're not missing any hoses we look good secure. silicone spray Another breather line locked in. Okay. 
That's in the guide there. All right, looking pretty good up here. No, he asked him to go yesterday. Oh, oh, all right, yeah. So I'm gonna find out what story is going on. Nuts. Would you connect? Pressure hose for the secondary air. Pressure hose, secondary air right there. Silicone spray. Speak yes or no? No. <laughs> No keyway? No keyway. Bolt on down. What size? 21. I still have the crank lock in. I haven't taken it out yet for this reason. In, so I'm going to torque her now. What's the spec? 150 newts. Plus a 180. Plus a 180. 150 newton meters plus a 180. Obviously, new hardware every time. 180, there we are. What size was it? 18. 18. Here's 30 newtons on that. Serpentine belt going back on. Remember the direction you took it off. Slide your axle in. So it splines up. Be careful with the splines. It'll slide in. Snap her in. Fresh 24, 13, 18 up there. Sixteen's here. Up in the wheel well back in.
16s axle heat shield eighteen and fucking mush it a little bit. Eighteen for here. Installing the wheel well. Two twenty fives. Them loose till you get them all in. Keep them loose until you get them all in. Yeah. And then snug them in. Hey, your guest made on this deal. Yeah, Brian, or I mean, the jelly's available. 517s. Installing the battery tray. Does she do like, she'll do laundry and then put a pile of stuff in the closet or no? No, she'll actually like fold it and put it away. Okay. Because I've Place. Gordon. Seen <laughs> for the lock. Ten mil for the battery positive. Ten mil for the battery negative in the back. I'm just clipping this uh, guide in. Ah, good. Clipped in, good.
probably one of the men over there next week. I know. Probably service is best. You probably seen it. I, I most likely did. I most likely said, hey, this thing needs a fucking head gasket. sitting here on uh, Twenty-seven for it. Uh, hang on, hold on. D twenty-fives, eight of those. See forty-fives in the rear. I watch you. Injecting the coolant. We pulled the vacuum. Everything's good. She starts up. Alrighty. Right. Cap what we did. Uh, 2023 Taos. We replaced a leaking head gasket. 